Sir Small and the Dragonfly by Jane O'Connor Illustrated by John O'Brien Long, long ago, a tiny knight rode his trusty aunt into the town of Peewee. In Peewee, the tallest person was no taller than a toothpick. The biggest house was no bigger than a shoebox. This is the town for me, said the tiny knight. I think I will stay here. And so he did. But one day, a dragonfly flew over the town. Run for your lives, cried the people of Peewee. Lady Tina ran. Down came the dragonfly. Whoosh! Up went Lady Tina. Help! Help! She shouted. The dragonfly has taken Lady Tina to its cave. Who can save her? Asked the king. The butcher said, I am too old. The baker said, I am too fat. The candlestick maker said, I am too scared. I am not scared, said the tiny knight. You? Who are you? asked the king. I am Sir Small. I have my sword. It was the size of a pin. I have my shield. It was no bigger than a penny. And I have my trusty aunt. Ho 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 ho. The king laughed. You are even smaller than we are. I am small. But I am brave. I will save Lady Tina. Sir Small rode to the cave of the dragonfly. The dragonfly was asleep. Lucky Sir Small. Shh, he said to Lady Tina. Then he cut the ropes. Lady Tina was free. Come with me, Sir Small told her. Lady Tina got on Sir Small's aunt. Away they rode. There was no time to lose. Soon the dragonfly woke up. Where was the pretty lady? The dragonfly wanted her back. The dragonfly flew after Sir Small and Lady Tina. It came closer and closer, but Sir Small was not scared. He saw a big spider web. Now he had a plan. Sir Small rode behind the web. Try and get us, he called to the dragonfly. Down came the dragonfly. It flew into the web and was trapped. That was the end of the dragonfly. That night, the people of Peewee 
had a big party. Lady Tina sat with Sir Small. They were very happy. The king said, "Here's to Sir Small, the smallest but bravest of all."